When we hear someone talk about Facebook lead gen campaigns, it's easy to automatically think of the form that could be attached to one of the ads within those campaigns. While instant forms are the most common method for a lead gen campaign, it's not our only option. Another option for lead gen campaigns is to focus on phone calls. So if you want to look at driving more calls to your business, I'm going to show you how you can run through a lead gen campaign that will focus on phone calls instead of forms. Before we jump into Facebook Ads Manager, I want to go over three things that you should know about call ads. And the first one is going to be the most obvious thing. Call ads only show up on mobile devices. Pretty difficult to call from a desktop unless you have some sort of third party tool, which most people don't. So already that will limit your reach by just going after users with mobile devices. But to limit that reach even more, the only available placements for call ads are the Facebook newsfeed, Facebook marketplace, and the Instagram feed. Even if you choose automatic placements, it'll only show up on these three placements. If you choose manual placements, you will only be able to check or uncheck the boxes for these three placements. And then the last thing before we really get started is that when people click on the ad, the call isn't going to automatically start. And what I mean is when they click on the call now CTA, or they can click on the image or video creative you're using in the ad, it's going to open up the call dialer that's on the phone. Your phone number that you're going to implement in your ad that we're going to show very soon is going to be pre-filled on that user's phone. They will then have to click the call button on their phone to actually call your business. So just because a user clicks on your call to action or your ad creative, it does not mean that they're actually calling your business. And that's going to make a difference when you're looking at the reporting, which will show you the few different objectives of ways you could do that. So now that we know this, let's hop into Facebook Ads Manager and we'll go over the two ways that you can create call ad campaigns. I'm going to go over two ways that we can create call focused ads within Facebook Ads Manager. So let's begin by creating a new campaign. And the first campaign objective we can use, probably going to be the most popular one, is lead generation. You can name your campaign here, or you can do it in the next step. So let's click continue. I already went ahead and named my campaign, but then we see the typical lead gen campaign settings. You can choose if you're in a special ad category. There's confirmation of our campaign objective. And then we have the optional setting of campaign budget optimization. I don't want to start a debate on which one is better, CBO or ad set level budgets, because I've seen both of them work really well. But for call ads, you may want to consider doing campaign budget optimization, and here's why. When you turn on campaign budget optimization, I'm going to call it CBO from here on out, you can switch your campaign budget from daily to lifetime budget. And after I do that, I can click the show more options, scroll down a little bit, and here we'll see ad scheduling kind of highlight it at the same level and then we can click edit and then choose run ads on a schedule. Now to implement the ad schedule, we will do that at the ad set level. But before I move on, I want to explain why. If your business only has certain store hours or if you're not a brick and mortar store and you just have typical business hours, if you're running a call focused campaign, you want to make sure that you have someone there who can answer that phone call. Otherwise, this campaign could be a waste of money for you. And it could be horrible customer service if people are trying to call you and they're not getting any response back. If you have a 24 hour call center, fine. You don't have to worry about that, but you can only use the ad scheduling setting if you have CBO turned on and you've switched it to lifetime budget. So when we get to this ad set example, we'll mess with the hours a little bit later because there's a few more settings that are involved, but then we can click next. I already went ahead and named my ad set, but right under the ad set name, we see the lead method. The default option is instant forms, which I mentioned in the intro. But of course, for this video, I want to switch it up to calls. And even before I selected calls and after, if you look off to the side, Facebook is mad because I haven't finished up my ad scheduling settings yet. We can see that is right below. So let me scroll down a little bit. I skipped the part about setting up the Facebook page, but you can see we already have the Pay Media Pros page selected. That's our page for this account. But then we need to choose a start date and end date. Remember, this isn't daily budget. We had to shift it to a lifetime budget. So there has to be an end date. So I'm recording this video on April 30th, 2021. And let me just adjust the time to end it at the end of the next month. And a couple of minutes have already gone by. Facebook is angry at me. So I'm just going to change the time so this error doesn't pop up again. So yes, this campaign will end on May 31st at 5 p.m. Central Time. If I evaluate the results, I want to see this campaign continue to run. I can always come back in, update my end date, but then I'll also have to go in and update the lifetime budget too within the campaign settings. Can be kind of a pain in the butt, but that's what we have to do if we want to control the hours of when people can see our call focused ads. If we scroll down a little bit, ad scheduling was selected at the campaign level, so I can't uncheck this. This is going to automatically be checked, but we do have another option right below. 
So let me open up this menu. We can select one or the other of which time zone to use for ad scheduling. So right now we're using the viewer's time zone. But if I have someone manning the calls and I only want my ads running when I have staff to receive them, I may want to switch use the ad accounts time zone. So now I can click and select which days of the week and hours of the day I would want this campaign running. And it's easy enough for me to just click and drag. And again, it is based on my time zone. So this ad set I'm creating right now will only run Mondays through Fridays from 8 a.m. Central Time to 6 p.m. Central Time. And it's easy enough for you, just gonna click a few random ones for example, to manually select any hour that you want. So you don't have to do a solid block like I did. Pretty cool that you can customize it like this, but let me uncheck these three. If you choose to do ad scheduling and you're done with that, we can scroll down to our audience options. I am not gonna go over the targeting options you have within Facebook. That's not the purpose of this video because there are a ton of targeting options. So if you're curious about that you can check Michelle's video that she created earlier this year but I did name this ad set interest so I'm just gonna select one option so I can keep on moving okay there's my targeting options let's keep on going there you can choose your placements and before we go on to the ad creation I do want to stop on the optimization and delivery portion this is pretty straightforward but I feel like I have to cover it the purpose of this campaign and this ad set is to get as many calls as possible so that is what Facebook is gonna optimize towards that is exactly why if I hover over this, it's grayed out. We cannot change the optimization setting for this ad set. If you want it to be something else, don't even create a call lead gen campaign in the first place. And then if we go down to cost control, we can't update that either. So let's just move on to the next step. And that is creating our ads. We already have our page selected because we chose it at the ad set level. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling down. And next let's look at the ad setup and ad creative. Because if you see in the ad setup, we only get the option for single image, or video or we can take those images and make a slideshow that means if you love using carousel ads you cannot use them for call campaigns but most of the ad creative setup is fairly straightforward you'll need to enter your primary text and then if you want you can add in your optional headline or description now it might be tempting since it's a call campaign to use the headline to say something like call us but if you see in the ad preview the call to action button is call now that is the only CTA that we get for this ad format, so it seems silly to have the headline that pretty much says the exact same thing. So in this particular example, since I'm using a specific ad schedule, and I know my ads are gonna be running only when I'm open, I can use a headline like this. Say open now, or something like, we're ready to take your call. You get what I mean. Trying to provide some sort of expectation on good customer service, we're here to help you now. I'm gonna skip the description, but you can add one if you want to. But next, here we get the phone number. First, you'll need to select your country code. You can scroll through the many options you have, or you can just type in your specific country and then enter in your phone number. Once I did that, the errors from Facebook went away. Everything else is looking good. So then we can publish. So my new ad is created and I'm in the typical performance column view. So we see under bid strategy, it's focused on the lowest cost to get as many calls as possible. Shifting over a little bit, looking at results. The results for this is gonna be estimated call confirmation clicks and then the cost per result, per estimated call confirmation click. Again, the results are gonna show the number of people who clicked on the ad. For the lead generation objective, it's the approximate number of people who clicked on the call dialer. So this estimated amount could be different than the number of people who actually called your business. Definitely have to keep that in mind. So that was one campaign objective. And I know it's the one I pretty much talked about in the intro, but there's actually another way you can use call ads within Facebook. So I'm gonna head back to the campaigns tab, and then I'm gonna create another campaign because the second objective we can use to create call ads is going to be traffic. And then let's click continue. The campaign settings are pretty much the same. I'm not gonna duplicate this. I'm not gonna use ad scheduling this time. It's all the same that I did in the last example. So I'm just gonna keep moving on. At the ad set level, we need to keep it at the website objective. Scrolling down, there's our daily budget. Since I'm not using particularly a lifetime budget with ad scheduling, we can still add an end date if possible, but I'm not gonna be able to select my hours. I'm gonna leave that as is, $20 a day. Keep scrolling down. I'm gonna use the same interest I did in the last example. Once we get down to optimization for ad delivery, we do have the option to change it, but don't do that. Leave it as link clicks. That is what we're going to need to be able to run call ads with a traffic objective. So again, leave it as link clicks. And then we can move on to the next step. Now, since we didn't select a lead gen campaign setup, it looks like we have more formats that we could use for this ad. But if you wanna keep it as a call focused campaign, you still have to leave it as single image or video. No carousel, no collections, don't check the instant experience box. All right, we're gonna scroll down to the ad creative. This time they didn't pull an image for me, so I'm gonna to have to select one. There we see the options for the primary text, headline, and description. Same as always, but I'm gonna skip that for now to focus on the next step, which is destination. 
because it's going to show website right off the bat. But you can change that to phone call, and that's going to change the ad format. Since the website option went away, they took away the option for us to select a different call to action button. So the one option we get yet again is call now. I wanted to do that first, just so you don't type in a call now specific headline and then realize you're still stuck with the call now CTA. All right, just getting something in there so the ad won't get rejected. And then the same as last time, our country code and phone number. I don't remember what I selected last time, so I'm just gonna use that one. So as you see, it took away the final URL. Again, focus just on phone calls. And in this case, everything looks decent, so I can publish this one too. Looking at the performance columns, just like we did with the lead gen campaign objective, for the traffic objective, they're different. Remember, we were looking at optimizing for link clicks. So the bid strategy is going to try to get as many link clicks for the lowest cost. And if you're looking at a wider view of a bunch of different ads from a variety of ad sets, you will probably be viewing your call focused ads with your website focused ads. Anything in terms of call only, I would try to filter those views so you're just looking at the call focused ones, knowing that those link clicks are when people opening up the call dialer. If we shift over, we see the results are link clicks and then that cost per result will be per link click. Now we said in the lead objective, it's gonna show you the estimated call confirmation clicks. With the traffic focused objective, we're just seeing the number of people who clicked on the ad. So in my opinion, these results are gonna be a little bit less accurate, but this could be a good option if you wanna test a call campaign versus a website focused campaign to potentially see which ones perform better in terms of engagement. And now you know the two ways that you can set up call ads on Facebook. We're clearly limited by device, we're limited by the placement options, but if your company really relies on phone calls and you know that's the best way that you can close a sale, I definitely recommend trying out this ad format. If you have any questions about how these campaigns work or you wanna share your experience with call ads on Facebook, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you wanna see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.